Few people would be brave enough to crack jokes about having cancer, but that's what makes radio guru and champion footballer John K. Watts one of a kind. Quick-witted Wattsy has been a household name across the country for over 50 years and was recently diagnosed with advanced bone cancer. But he's determined to keep laughing, even when faced with the greatest battle of his life. Tonight, he speaks with Alison Fan about footy, family, fame and fears for his future. Farmer's kick is taken by former fellow West Australian Watts in one of the most spectacular marks of the day. G'day, Paul. Strike me pink. You're over here for a new outfit. We are the Dockers, the Fremantle On the field and off, Watsy's taken the knocks and dished it out. But this is the blow that's hit him for six. The doctor called me up and he said, uh, we've had a look and um, unfortunately, the cancer's gone into your bones. But like he's done all his life, John K. Watts has decided humour is the best antidote. I wouldn't know any other way. The irrepressible TV and radio football legend using gags to respond to the many calls from across Australia. When my uh, mates, uh, different ones, found out, geez, Watsy, is it serious? I said, my bloody oath, it's serious. <laughs> I, uh, what, what did your doctor say? I mean, how long have you got? And I asked him, I said, I mean, how long have I got? And he looked at his, what, 10, 9, 8, <laughs> 7. <laughs> this is JK's third battle with cancer. 11 years ago, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. 50 years ago, a malignant melanoma on the back of his neck prompted a career change as a policeman to grab an offer from his great friend, Polly Farmer. He said, come over, Geelong need another big man. And I thought, this is the opportunity. So I pulled out of the police force. And um, I used to play with a steel cap with a sponge rubber, but nobody knew. I used to have it dressed and done uh, before I went to training and um, when I played, otherwise somebody... <laughs> Funny enough, I played over 300 games. I, I never ever got hit in the back of the neck, and yet you would have thought a lot of blokes wanted to do it. <laughs> For a comedian, John K. Watts is no stranger to sadness. Donna Watts was killed in September 95 in a car rollover at Rotnest. I lost a daughter in an accident in Rotnest and that just about kills you. A personal tragedy never resolved. The coroner had more harsh words for police, questioning the four-week delay in getting statements. But you've got to overcome it and... You know, and always think of the good times, you know. Donna was a lovely girl and had a sense of humour and I know she wouldn't want me to, you know, be crying all the time. Then ten years ago, his business gutted by fire. Within minutes, the building was a roaring inferno. Owner and Perth radio personality John K. Watts, all but speechless when he arrived. It doesn't look too good at all. I've seen her in my various jobs as a policeman, as a uh, coach, as a footballer, as uh, whatever, uh, you've seen a lot of tragedy, and a lot of things in your life, and uh, you can't dwell on that. His strength and humour in dealing with life's problems, he points to his father. And there's my dad, wise man that knows his own father. <laughs> my father was a, uh, a police superintendent, and... and uh, he was a real funny guy and a great guy. And great memories for those who recognise this opening theme. The long-running What's He and Martin show. Besides that, Alison, you know, to, to uh, have a bit of a joke, because when I was with Channel 7... On telethon, on the weekly football shows, on the nightly Channel 7 News with his controversial football views. Very memorable, yes, and uh, great skits and that and uh, um, put a lot of work in. Work he turned into writing club songs. East Perth. For we are the mighty Royals. East Perth is the greatest team of all. Swan Districts. We're all right. We are the mighty fighting black and whites. And his greatest hit of all for his beloved Geelong. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. 
We are Geelong, we're always on the ball. As for the greatest footballer ever... I'll tell you something, when I got that pill in the back line, there was only one guy I looked for, Polly Farmer. And you lob it up to him, she never came back. He got it every time. He's the best footballer I've ever seen. With his greatest supporter, wife Lorraine, at his side, this father of five, grandfather of six, and great-grandfather of one, turns 75 next week. As for his fight with cancer, it's just like the words in the theme song he wrote. From when the ballers bounce to the final bell, stand up and fight like hell.